Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Capricorn. Hope you guys are all well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome to all the new viewers. Thanks for dropping in everyone. Okay, let's see what's happening. Some bonus love energy, new love energy, new love connections for Capricorn. Who is coming towards Capricorn? Who's coming towards Capricorn for love? New love energy, new love contacts, new love prospects for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? New love energy for Capricorn. All right, there you go. Somebody's moving towards you slower than a turtle. Yeah, oh, someone's coming in to reach out to make you an offer. All right, they're thinking about this offer, taking their time. This is a pretty good offer. Wow, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, this, it could be work. This could be work-related. Somebody may want to offer you money to work on something for some of you. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, yeah, for love, this is wonderful. This person wants something stable. They. This is someone who wants to work towards a commitment. Okay, really nice. Some of you, this could be money. This could be substantial. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This person is single. They're looking for somebody who's single. This is abundant. This is a lovely offer. Wow, Capricorn. This could be you too, reaching out to someone else. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Wow, you guys, what's happening? Wheel of Fortune in your favor. Something's moving. Somebody wants to work to move towards you. Something came to an end. This person, some of you, this is it. End a cycle of being single. Okay, uh, the Wheel of Fortune's moving in your favor. Somebody's reaching out, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Another earth sign, or this is you. Yep, end of burdens, whatever. Oh my gosh, some of you could be getting money. Could some, some of you may be getting inheritance money, things like that. Okay, you're going to do all right. It's going to make you comfortable. Some of you, somebody else is reaching out to offer you a new beginning. Like I said, it could be work. Yeah, so this is going to move forward. Somebody wants to move forward very quickly. Uh, they want to come in and take control, charge forward. Okay, wow, you guys, cancer energy. Oh, yeah, and then you got someone here coming in. Just a minute, wait. <laughs> Somebody's, yeah, you got you got a cancer, possibly, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be anyone. This is somebody who wants to take things slow, but they want to offer stability, something reliable. This person is reliable. Uh, you may have worked with this person before, so I feel you'll know they are, okay? For those of you where you've worked for them, this could be, again, work, a very reliable position for decent money. Then you got this Knight of Swords, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. Uh, somebody charging towards you in this direction. Somebody wants to come in. They may be ending something and coming towards you. They want to come in and put the work in, whoever they are. So let's see what this is about. This is somebody who wants, it could be the same person uh, wanting to charge towards you very quickly, very passionately. Uh, this person wants to take control and get things moving. So we'll see. I feel like you might have a couple people. Someone's coming in, gonna, doesn't want you to get away. That's what it's looking like to me. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn. Yep, communication coming in. Somebody's coming in to take a risk to have a new beginning. This person's reaching out. They're going to reciprocate. This is generous offer. Could be a new job. Okay, uh, you may want to hold back and think about this. I feel like this person's been thinking about this for a while. It could be an ex, somebody who wants to heal things. They want to reach out. Uh, but this is also thinking, uh, keeping your energy clear. And uh, somebody could be coming in to clear things up with you. Somebody may owe you some money and be coming in to pay it off as well for some of you. All right. But this is love. So someone's reaching out generously. And uh, they've been thinking a lot about this offer. They've been, uh, they know they want to do this right. And they know they have to make this generous. And it's risky. Uh, I feel like some of you will go for this. Very nice. New beginning. Some of you may actually have to, if it's work, you may have to travel. This could be on the internet as well. 
Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. What's going on? Here we go. Ah, someone's contemplating and thinking about this. Someone could be watching you, thinking they've been contemplating and thinking a lot about this new beginning with you, watching you to make sure you're single. So they haven't quite made this or made up their mind exactly yet. So I feel like they're holding back and they're just doing a little thinking. Uh, this person does know what they need to do. They do want to move towards you slowly. They want to go about this the right way. So, wow, Eight of Pentacles. What's going on with this Eight of Pentacles? Could be a Virgo for some of you Capricorns. Whoops. Ooh, you guys, everybody's got something going on. It's all this via the internet, text messaging and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Eight of Pentacles, what is this? Somebody is contemplating whether or not this will work or not, or if it's enough, if this you know, can be worked out if it is an X energy. It doesn't really feel like it, to be honest. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person's, yeah, they want to work towards commitment. Look at that, towards marriage commitment. They've been working on themselves, going within, soul searching, about being more reliable, uh, thinking about marriage. This could move towards uh, commitment or an engagement fairly quickly. Uh, but they want, there's some, th it's going to take work. I do feel like it. But I do think they're thinking about their beliefs or traditions, whether or not this can work. Some of you, it's a Taurus. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. This could be work-related, big time. It could be both. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, what's going on. There we go, yeah. So some of you are definitely having success. This person's coming in. They want to work. They want to work towards success, okay? They see you as su successful as well. So someone's watching you. They see you as doing well, successful. So you may get a job offer. You may get some inheritance, things like that. Uh, there'll be a lot of that kind of things going on right now while people are having a hard time. But yeah, they see you as someone stable, practical, reliable. There's a sense of security, I feel. Uh, you have a lot of abundance. They see the possibilities. They want to move towards success with you. Yeah, this person's, this is your hopes and dreams. Oh my God, they want to move forward. Um, to, yeah, they may want to come in and romance you. For some of you, it's an ex. There's things that need to be healed. This person's purging something. Uh, they may. This person might have been a little arrogant in the past if it's an ex. Uh, they may have, um, or maybe they've come on to a bunch of money inheritance and they're coming towards you to share it with you. Uh, because they've been soul searching, all right, about new beginnings, about being more reliable. Okay, thinking about this offer. They know what they need to do, like... Uh, they're contemplating whether or not this will work if you can move forward and uh, build something. But it's two people that got to work. They know that this is something to make it work. It's got to be repeated. You have to continue to work on it. So they've been thinking about that. Yeah, something needs to be healed. Um, they have to learn something and move beyond making peace. So, yeah, this person's coming towards you. It's a little bit of a mystery how this is going to end up. Yeah, they do. Wow, this person's they, feeling very romantic. This person's definitely someone who hid their emotions and feelings. Uh, there is a little bit of confusion how this is going to move forward because you may be at a distance, so there may be a bit of confusion, a little bit of mystery in how you're going to be able to move forward because of social distancing right now, if they can come to your house or how this is going to work, okay? So there's something that needs to be worked out. Um, this is something traditional about their beliefs, their behaviors, uh, working things out in a traditional manner. Watch this person, whoever this is, if you have that X that comes back, make sure that they don't behave the way they did before and they don't put any work in. But I think someone's contemplating it. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, um, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Wow, tell me about this Nine of Pentacles right in the middle. We got two single people coming together to move forward to the wheel of fortune okay moving forward somebody's not going to be single anymore you're not going to be single for long capricorn i think this person is contemplating that too <laughs> nine of pentacles there we go that's our one yeah walking away from the single life moving towards the ten of cups wow oh my god this is too good too good to be true almost right but you know what Think back to times in your life when something really cool happened. 
uh, that made you feel really good, like, wow, I can't believe it, I got this or that happened. Well, it does happen, right? The Wheel of Fortune does move forward, and sometimes it's in your favor. Uh, it's looking good. I, I think the single life is over. You've got this moving forward. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. I wanted to come out. Yeah, so something is ending. So somebody is, uh, the Wheel of Fortune is moving. Some of you got a few people that you're going to connect with, okay? Some of you may be online dating, getting yourselves out there. Some of you could be walking away from somebody and moving toward going out and meeting someone new. But I feel like it's moving in your favor. Uh, you're meeting. You may have met this person before, okay? Um, try to remember somebody that you met when you were out and about socialized with somewhere at some kind of an event all right a social place out in the community um because things may not have moved forward when you first met this person it may have actually stopped but it's going to move forward with this person now so this person's thinking about you whoever they are so we have the three of cups this is going to be happiness and joy it's going to make you happy just like i said remember the times when you remember you can remember like a lot of people like oh it's too good to be true well think about times in your life when something that seemed too good to be true actually did happen you got a job offer you didn't think you were going to get may seem irrelevant now but at the time okay so it's, it's raising that vibration thinking positive ten of yeah you got somebody who's coming in who's uh coming in to work for this they want to end some burdens this is somebody who works a lot they do have a lot of burdens that's the thing so they have to be careful this is going to work so i feel like this person traditionally in the past uh they work a lot traditionally this person has a lot of responsibility they could be a business owner or they're just coming in i feel like they're coming in it's like they always were concentrating on work um Traditionally, that's just who they are, all right? Somebody who was married to their work. So now they're contemplating this. So they're coming in to fight for this. They're ending their burdens here. It's over, all right? Moving forward, they're ready to carry the burden of a relationship now. Like this is someone who's coming in to fight for you. They're going to want to move forward very quickly. Yeah, they're very passionate. Uh, watch out this person. They may be a bit con over controlling and bearing. Make sure they don't have too much of an ego. Okay, they could be um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio energy as well. But um, yeah, I feel like this person is very passionate. Um, they have a lot of burdens. They do work a lot, but they can carry a full load. This is somebody who's got it all. I feel like it is the same person just thinking about whether they can do this because they're kind of married to their work. Okay, so uh, watch that they don't try to control things too much okay they may want to control this and rush forward very quickly but make sure watch this person they're very passionate tell me about the chariot well this is i'll tell you with all this social distancing you're going to be getting a lot of these people coming in wanting to rush forward i tell everyone it may like just it's all good to play with it talk to them but really you know now's the time to be very careful um if anybody is trying to rush especially if they want to come and see you uh, you're at a distance and they want to try see you. It may be a little bit out of reach to be able to connect for them to come to your house and see you because we've got this confusion, the mystery, right? We've got this, you know, this illness going around, right? So we have to be careful. So there's a bit of a mystery and confusion about whether they can come to your house. Um, this person doesn't know where you live, that's for sure. Wow. Tell me about, I think, too, this person, whoever they are, if they knew you in the past, uh, if you met this person before, you, um, they may be trying to figure out where you live and it's kind of a mystery. <laughs> okay, yeah, so tell me about the chariot and a cycle yeah so if this person yeah so this yeah so here we are yeah if this person tries to come in and take control you're going to put an end to it so you may have ended things this could be an ex you may have ended things with them before but you may just have a lot of questions before you let this person come in like i said make sure you know what their intentions are because the chariot's lovely but this is somebody who uses all the power they have and this person has a lot of power because they're sexy they're they got a lot of charisma all right they're hard working uh, I feel like this person is very strong, but I feel like they do have a lot of burdens. I think they carry a lot of weight. Uh, they could be somebody uh, in your community that has, uh, that is a wheel of fortune. They could, I mean, this person could be, 
somebody important, like it's not a star. They could be, but um, whoever it is, they're held in high regard, I feel. So they could be someone important in your community as well. They pull a lot of weight, okay? So very interesting. But you're going to ask this person a lot of questions, all right, because you want to make sure this doesn't end up in a painful situation like you did before. Very interesting. So, yeah. You're going to be very discerning, so but they're going to come charging in. They're going to put the work in. Uh, you're going to be asking them questions because you want to make sure this person isn't here just to rush in and rush out. Tell me about this. I'll, I'll ask questions what their intentions are in a bit. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Why is this here? The Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is this here? There we go. Yeah. No, this person's working on this. They're going to put the work in. So you aren't going to work on this person. You're not going to put any effort if they're just thinking they can come rushing in and rush out. But I think they want to put a lot of passion and energy into this relationship. And they want to work. They want to put the work in. So if it's an ex, they're willing to put the work in now. So... Um, Let's see what happens here. Tell me about this person who's coming towards Capricorn. Who is this person? What are their intentions? What is the person's intentions coming towards Capricorn? What is this person's intentions that's coming towards Capricorn? What is this person's intentions that are coming towards Capricorn? The Holy King. This person's soul searching. They're watching you, trying to, they're soul searching and thinking about you. So, yeah. So they're thinking about making you an offer. This person's digging deep and soul searching, contemplating a new beginning, a new way of doing things, coming in and putting the work in, starting from the bottom up to build things up. So this person is ready to charge in and do the work. So, wow. Here we go. Yeah, page of chalices. So you're going to hear from this person. They're going to talk to you. Uh, they're going to take baby steps first. Okay, they're going to reach out and offer you a cup, explain this situation to you. So they could be someone, like I said, watching you on social media. This person's, look at that. Their intentions are to think about this new beginning, about offering you this and being more reliable and... Uh, Look at that. There you are. They're going to reach out to you. Oh, my God. And talk to you and explain this. Um, they could be contemplating marriage, putting the work, starting, right? Moving forward, slow and steady. And then engagement and marriage. They're contemplating it, thinking about it. Make sure you feel safe and secure. They're going to try to make you feel safe and secure. Uh, they're going to explain this to you, uh, where they're at. They're going to, it's taking small steps, okay? They might be a little shy. They might be a little apprehensive at first, explaining their emotions. This isn't the most emotional person, uh, especially if they're Taurus or Virgo, um, okay? Not always the most emotional, but you're here with the Queen of Swords asking a lot of questions. You want to make sure things don't end. You're going to let them know if you're going to try to control everything or if you're going to try to control me, um, that'll be the end of it. Like you're going to, I don't think you're going to be too harsh. Like hopefully be careful what you say. Don't be too harsh and sharp. Just give this person a chance to put the effort in. Make sure they put the work in so that you, they, you know, that they're not just coming in to uh, rush in and rush out uh, for the passion because they certainly do find you attractive, okay? But I feel like they might have a little bit of ego. Um, yeah, two of wands. So sit on the fence and wait to see what happens, all right? Wait to see if this person actually does what they say. What is this person going to do? What are their long-term intentions towards Capricorn? Ten of Swords, yeah, to put an end to a painful situation. So this is an X for some of you. Some of you, this person doesn't want to be single anymore. They want to walk away from the single life. Uh, they want to move towards the wheel of fortune. They see you as the Ten of Cups. They want to be happy. They want to put their cups on the table. They want to share their feelings, and that's what they're going to do. They're going to share how they feel with you, that they need to go slow. Uh, but they do see you as a spouse, as a partner, okay? Uh, I feel like they have Earth in their chart, so there's likely um, two of you are probably very much the same. You're both going to be walking towards that Ten of Cups together. Um, very nice. All right, so it's looking pretty good. But sit on the fence and wait to see what happens. Make sure they put the work in. And I think you're going to tell them that, that you're going to just wait to see what happens, that you're a little undecided. Because um, if it is an X, you're going to tell them you were too controlling last time. I had to take off. Um, like, you know, you don't want to be controlled. You don't want this person to come in and control how everything goes. Um, 
but it's slow and steady wins the race. I can guarantee you they're going to want to go slow, but they're they're watching you, they're thinking about you, they're contemplating this new beginning, offering you uh, this, okay? Uh, I mean, it could be an engagement uh, and then work towards marriage or something like that. Because um, they know you want to feel safe and secure. They're, they do understand that, and I think they are understanding of it. I think they're going to talk to you about it. Yeah, they're going to talk to you about it. Uh, they want this new beginning. They want this passion. They're very passionate about this. They want this new beginning. Uh, they do find you very sexy and attractive, so remember that. You want to make sure that they're not just coming in. You want to make sure you feel safe and secure. So you're going to have to take some stock in this yourself, Capricorn, and you're going to need to look into the future to make sure you feel safe with what this person has to say, what their explanation is, what they want. Okay. I feel like they do not want to be single anymore. I feel like they want to put an end to that. I feel like you do too, but you're being careful. Okay. Um, you will... You absolutely want to make sure, whoever this is, they don't use that sex and that charm to come in and control the situation. Because you do find them that way, so <laughs> be ready, okay? Wow, yeah. So this person's having an epiphany. Uh, they're telling you the truth. They want to clear things up. Uh, they want this new beginning. They're, they see you as the one, okay? They see you as their person. And... Um, yeah, so just watch. Yeah, they've learned a lot from the past. They're going to want to come and see you to tell you that, though. Uh, I think they're going to want to see you face to face. Um, they've learned a lot. Yeah, they've been. They're taking everything they've learned. Uh, if it's an ex, they're taking everything they learned and coming towards you. For some of you, this isn't an ex. Some of you, it's just you have this reaction. All right, because. Um, You don't want to be hurt. You don't want to have another painful ending. Okay, so you are the one that's or you're the one that's now in control. Even though this person um, may come in, they have a lot of burdens. They're they this person works a lot though. That's the thing. They are a bit married to their work, but they're contemplating this new beginning and this offer and and working towards it. So it, it's pretty positive. But like I said, ask questions. So let's see what's going on. Very interesting. Uh, the person seems sincere. Okay, they do seem a bit shy about this offer, like they're, tr they're contemplating and thinking about what to say um, to you. For those of you who are, you don't know them, they are a little shy and they're, they could be watching you on social media. You've likely, yes, met this person before, so, okay. All right, what is the outcome of this situation for Capricorn? What is the outcome of this situation for Capricorn? What is the outcome of this situation? Treasure Island, slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, so allow this to evolve. Take your time with this person, all right? Make sure they're sincere. Make sure that this person is actually putting the work in and they're not trying to come in and only put in enough work to get what they want, rush in and rush out. But I really think they do now. I do. I think they're ready to carry the burden of a relationship. I do. Some of their burdens, maybe they've been working hard. Uh, they're used to being married to their work, so... You know, maybe they've ended some kind of burdens and they have time now or they feel like they're ready now. They feel stronger uh, because if this person is a Virgo or a Taurus or an Earth sign, it certainly seems like it. Um, they're coming in as this king of stay of somebody who's coming in to fight for what they want. The one. OK. Yeah. Unfinished sym symphony. So some of you, this is someone who has unfinished business with you. <laughs> or because I said they may have finished some burdens in their life. They may have ended something and they're coming back to you if there's someone you've met before. Okay. So very interesting. You may have met them at a social event and things may never, might not have taken off because they may have been involved with someone else. Who knows, right? But it's... Yeah, this person wants to go the distance, and they're going to be more flexible. So very nice energy, guys. So that's what you want to watch for. You want to make sure that this person's willing to go the distance. They're not just here to rush in and out. They're going to put the work in, and that they're more flexible. So you know, they cooperate, you know, and they're willing to work with you. All right, that's they want. That's the big thing here, to work with you. So 
Wow. All right, you guys, I love this reading. I love these new readings when I focus with this deck. I get some positive vibe. And no, it, this obviously can't come true for everybody. Raise that vibration, though. All right. Maybe you have to be Capricorn, the one to reach out and communicate with somebody. Okay. And maybe you need to make this person an offer. Uh, take some time to think about that. Some of you Capricorns are married to your work as well. Okay, <laughs> you know, maybe it's time to think about that too. So flip this anyway, it works for you. All right, everyone, I wish you the best. Don't forget to check out my playlist if you haven't seen my weekly readings. All right, take care. Bye for now.